for more on the Queen's legacy, we welcome ABC News Royals contributor Imogen Lloyd Weber. Imogen, uh, thank you so much for joining us. I know that it's a, certainly a trying day. Mm. You know, it, it's been kind of this unwritten rule that, that the Royals really stay out of the politics, mm. essentially. But, uh, but, but the Queen was very informed, very knowledgeable. She was interested. What kind of influence did she have on the UK government? So the UK has a constitutional monarchy. So the Queen reigned but didn't rule. So everything is done in her name, which is why our new Prime Minister a couple of days ago had to go and meet the Queen and the Queen asked her if she could form a government. Uh, so she is intrinsically involved in the state. Um, she had these infamous red boxes, which, we, which she would read every single day, all these state papers. Um, but she was not there to interfere. She was there to sign off on it, as it were. So really, the Queen is, was woven into the fabric of British life on banknotes, on stamps, uh, on insignia, on uh, police uh, people's helmets. Uh, it, it really is an extraordinary loss to the nation. She was there uh, as this emblem of national unity, identity and pride. So this will be a seismic shift mm. for the Brits uh, over the next 10, 12 days and, and moving forward. And in general, because we don't have a monarchy mm. here in this country, in the kings and yeah. queens, it seems, though, for those in Britain, that she was more than a figurehead. Kind of just give us a sense of, of the meaning of the queen there. So the queen reigned for seven decades. She saw in that time 15 UK prime ministers and 14 US presidents. She's only our 40th monarch uh, since 1066. So as a result, we have a sort of stability, as it were. So the politicians will get their hands dirty. The Queen is there to be above politics, that figurehead. And King Charles III now has big shoes to fill because she fulfilled her duty. She didn't interfere. She made sure that she kept up with the times, was never ahead of the times um, because the monarchy is there to be stable, but was always that calm voice of reason. Um, during COVID, she certainly became on some levels even more the grandmother to the nation. Um, there was that very dramatic moment where Boris Johnson, the prime minister at the time, was being taken to hospital for COVID. And she addressed the nation, evoking World War II years, where, of course, she served during World War II. Um, she was in the military. Um, so it, it, it is a massive shock when you have this big grandmotherly figure that you think is never going to really leave, although we have been being prepared for it over the years. It's still a shock when it happens. And you talked about her duty. Kind mm. of give us a sense of just how seriously she took her responsibility and her commitment. We saw her in the past few months really failing and, and at, at times uh, absent, especially from the Jubilee, but still pushing through to make sure that she was president, present for some of those events, including uh, just a few days ago with the transfer of power to Liz Truss. Absolutely. She saw when she was 21 years old, she gave a very famous radio address, which we can all see on the crown, um, where she says she'll devote her life, whether it's long or short, to her people, to the people of the UK, to the people of the Commonwealth. And that was incredibly important to her. That being said, as she grew older, she has subtly, because, she, because of course she, would, she was trying to prepare us for post-Elizabethan age, even though it, it is going to be a massive jolt for us all. You talked about how in recent years she kind of stepped back from all that bit, travel, yeah. but prior to that, she was the most traveled uh, head of state in, in history. Why were those visits? Why was all that travel so important to the Queen? She would have met more people than anyone else living on Earth and, until this morning and until she passed. Um, she was the world's most experienced diplomat. We have lost that, that soft power diplomacy. She's a was the longest serving Western leader. She was someone who had an enormous amount of wisdom. She also kept her own counsel. It, it, we also have been talking a lot about Balmoral Castle mm, today yes. uh, in Scotland where she, she passed away, a place that was near and dear to her heart. Why was it such a significant location for her? She loves Scotland. Um, I think on some levels it, it's, one can see why she, as much as you choose to pass, she chose to pass there. It's somewhere the family adored. A lot of happy times with her husband, uh, Prince Philip, um, who she sadly lost last year. And of course, she's been in mourning ever since then. Um, some wonderful times with her children, with the grandchildren, with the great grandchildren. It's a very special place and it's a retreat. It's very interesting this evening um, that you've got members of the royal family who may not necessarily have been that close recently, all at Balmoral together with this seismic shift that has just happened within their family personally. You've got Andrew there, Charles is there, obviously, now head of the family, and of course, William and Harry. And this really must be invoking for William and Harry, who were at Balmoral when Princess Diana suddenly died, uh, that moment 25 years ago. Uh, so if there is a moment for these two brothers, who, as we know, have been having a difficult relationship of late, can sit down and really talk, then we would think that this might be it. To be a fly on the wall Indeed. in Balmoral. Uh, Imogen, we thank you so much for just your expertise and being able to kind of give us the, the perspective and, and what this all means today. We thank you so much. ABC News Royals contributor Imogen Lloyd Weber. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.